hey guys welcome back to the channel once again it's your girl d if you haven't subscribed yet don't forget to do so help your girl out help the sister out you know what i mean so in today's video i'm here to show you guys how i pre-pull so if you're interested stay tuned so what is pre-pooing actually? So pre-pooing is a process whereby you apply a treatment to the hair before the actual shampoo and conditioning process. So the treatment provides the hair with a protective layer. And this is helpful because we all know that shampooing can sometimes strip the hair of its moisture and shine. And uh, applying deep conditioners or hair masks are not always enough to restore back um, the lost moisture. pre pooing can be an oil base, a cream base, or a lotion base, um, depending on your preference and what your hair reacts uh, best to. You can weigh out your options and choose which one that works for you. Elastic QP's mango butter lotions and cream are a good alternative for it um shea butter so the options are so much and you don't have to just stick to one you can try out the creams the lotions and see which one uh works best for your hair so what are some of the benefits of pre-pooing pre-pooing um boosts up the effectiveness of your deep conditioners it helps the hair um it makes the hair easier to detangle. It promotes um, vibrant, softer looking hair. And um, it prevents the hair from um, shedding, breaking, or hair loss. So pre pooing has a lot of benefit to the hair. So if you're not pre pooing, make this a must. Like add this to your shampooing and conditioning process because it's really helpful if you want to grow your hair long and healthy and i know i know it is a lot of work like people it might seem like a lot of work but let me tell you honey it is worth the extra effort so don't count it out yet most of the time this is how my hair looks once it has been um, blow dried and I've put in all my essentials and creams in it, I always braid it up to minimize the shedding and the breakage, which is the logic. If your hair is out and you're manipulating it, you're bound to get breakage and hair loss. So this is how it looks most of the time. If you catch me outside, this is how you girl be looking most of the time so um what i do with my pre pool is i'll do it on a monday um wednesday and friday because i usually wash my hair on a saturday so that will leave um room for you to get that moisture in there so the oils that we're going to be using this is an uh, applicator bottle i just mixed my oils the black castor jamaican oil um argan oil and the two essentials um avocado and grapeseed oil and then tea tree oil so once it's in a braid you know it's easier to get in there instead of you parting the hair and most of the time you're not going to get all the parts that you're supposed to get so when it's in a braid it's easier for you to apply the oils so what we're going to do is you just make like a straight line and then you massage it in the hair so this is what i do on a Monday and it, uh, the Monday and the Wednesday, I will just do my, um, how do you say, my scalp, just doing the scalp and then massaging it 
in there and then on the friday that is when i'll take down my braids and then really really get in there so now i'm just going to be showing you guys what i do in the weekdays and then throughout the week i'll show you what i do on the friday as well so that you are good on all the information make sure you get your edges as well So once you've um, applied it on all the sections of the braid, I'll just put it back in a bun until Friday. So I'll be back and then show you guys what I do on the Friday before I wash my hair. I go really in, I go in on the oils and the product because I'm going to wash my hair anyway in the week monday and uh, wednesday i don't really put too much oils in it because first of all it's going to be catching dirt if you put too much oils in there it's going to weigh the hair down and we don't want that and as you can see i didn't put some on my ends that is um because there is already oils on there when i did my braid so I'm not going to put too much for it to weigh the hair down. So today is the day before my wash day. And as you can see, I've already taken down the braids. But the one thing is, even though the braids are down, you still have the sections of the braid, which will make it easier for you to apply. We're not going to go really crazy because by looking at the hair, you can see that there is still a good amount of moisture in there and the hair really really shrinkage when uh, there is moisture in the hair so we're going to start by putting the oil on the scalp And then the thing is, when you're done, make sure you really massage it into the scalp so that the scalp is ready for the washing process the next day. So most of the time, I will leave this in overnight. So I'll do it on a Friday and then sleep with it overnight. You can do it 30 to 40 minutes before you wash your hair if you prefer that as well so we're going to really get into the scalp so that our blood can flow easily through the scalp And then when you're done massaging it, you're going to put a good amount on your hands for the ends of the hair. And this is really it. It takes like time, but it is really worth it before 
you wash your hair look at the hair like it's really shiny and when you wash your hair there will still be the shine in there because of the moisturizing process the purple that we just did so this is how this is what keeps my hair looking shiny and all of them good stuff so now you know how i do it it's up to you if you want this or not